and now somehow our uh, most valuable uh, <laughs> presenter, if one can say so, in terms of uh, partnership is uh, the Mike Moulin and Madiana uh, from the European Broadcasting Union. We are really extremely honored and happy to have you with us uh, as uh, you play a very positive role already and let's hope together that we can make a difference in COP21 uh, outreach. Thank you very much uh, for, for inviting us here today and giving us this uh, opportunity. And it's also an honor for, for us to be uh, here today and to, uh, to discover uh, your plans for uh, uh, making uh, a lasting impression of, uh, of uh, COP21, if we, can, if we can put it that way. Um, I, I work for an organization, as, uh, as you've just heard, called the European Broadcasting Union. And it's a very strange um, sort of animal because uh, we, we do a number of very different things. Uh, we are a professional association of, of public service broadcasters like uh, uh, France Television uh, here in uh, here in France or, or Radio France, uh, BBC in in, in the UK, uh, and so forth. And a, as a uh, as a professional association, we uh, um, we perform all the uh, uh, lobbying uh, tasks and uh, and create all the position papers that uh, one would expect from that kind of activity. But we're also um, much, much more than that. We're also major players in the area of, uh, of sports rights. We uh, uh, negotiate uh, rights to, to the world's uh, uh, biggest uh, sporting events, uh, football, uh, uh, Olympic Games, and, uh, and so forth on behalf of our members. And we're major players in, uh, in, in news. In, in, in news, we, we essentially do two different things. Uh, we provide news facilities all over the world. Uh, if there is um, um, a news story that needs to be covered by the international media, we will make sure that they have the editing facilities, but also the uh, uh, uplink and, uh, and downlink facilities, the uh, uh, internet connectivity that they need in order to be able to, to send content uh, back, to their, uh, uh, back to their studios, wherever they are uh, on, this, uh, on this planet. And the other thing that we do in the field of news is, uh, is the video news exchange. Um, when you watch uh, an evening news bulletin on, uh, on TF1 or, or, or France Television or, or BBC or wherever, the chances are that the international uh, pictures, the stories that uh, uh, accompany, the, the, the pictures that accompany the foreign news stories, have come through the uh, uh, EBU in Geneva. We have uh, uh, a newsroom uh, um, with editors who, uh, who curate and filter and uh, make sure that uh, news organizations everywhere have the pictures they need to be able to, to tell their stories. So we're, 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 uh, although um, Europe is in the name, uh, we are a global organization. What we're uh, probably best known for though is the, uh, uh, is the song contest. And uh, the song contest is about as big as you can get for a, for a music event. We're talking about uh, uh, audiences in the hundreds of millions, uh, 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 tens of millions of, uh, of, of, of tweets and uh, um, status updates on the various uh, uh, social networks. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we passed the one billion mark on our YouTube uh, on our official news, YouTube uh, channel, so uh, we are big players in the uh, in, 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 in music and entertainment as well. But um, the European Parliament took us a little bit by surprise when they came to us in uh, late uh, 2013 and told us that uh, they needed our help in order to. Uh, um, create more interest, more buzz around the uh, European elections of, uh, of last year. And their idea was that we should create, uh, in their words, an American-style presidential debate for the uh, European candidates. And that, of course, um, presented us with uh, a, a lot of challenges, and some of those challenges will be familiar to anyone who's been working in the environment, in, in, in this environment of uh, 
uh, uh, promoting uh, talks about uh, the future of the planet. There's not a lot of interest in the European elections. It's about as unsexy as you can get for, uh, for a topic. And I like that kind of challenge because that means that uh, we've got to think creatively and we've got to work harder to, to get people interested. Now, I've, I've been uh, a long believer uh, uh, in, uh, in the idea, and it's a little bit my personal philosophy, that uh, the best way for, to make myself look good is to hire people who are smarter than me, which is why uh, Madiana's on my team. And what Madiana brought was her deep knowledge of the social networks, of how to engage young audiences, and we used that to, uh, uh, in parallel to what the uh, European Parliament were expecting, which was the 90-minute uh, uh, debate in the European Parliament, we created a whole online ecosystem on the different social networks. Um, we, were on, uh, we were on Twitter, we were on Facebook, and, uh, and uh, we were uh, elsewhere. And we did that all in, uh, in, in the space of a few weeks. So not just sending out messages to people, but also engaging with them. Madiana will, uh, uh, will, will, will tell you uh, a little bit more about that. And it helped us, um, obviously, in terms of uh, attracting interest around the, uh, the TV production. The TV show was, was shown um, in uh, 27 countries on 55 uh, channels on 88 uh, websites and, uh, and nine radios. And I think we were uh, part of the, uh, of the show, usually in news bulletins, were shown in 137 countries around the, around the world. Uh, we, we even made the news in, in South Korea and, uh, and, uh, and Saudi Arabia. That was a big uh, media event. We, uh, and we achieved that success by involving the audience in the production. The uh, questions that uh, were asked that evening by our two uh, uh, brilliant presenters actually came via the, uh, the, the, the social networks. These were the topics that uh, people told us were the most important, the most relevant uh, uh, to their lives. The, 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 these were the answers that, uh, that they wanted uh, from, the, uh, from the politicians. And as a result of the success of, uh, of, of that, really, what became a transmedia uh, production, we decided that if the right opportunity came along, we'd like to do another one. So it's not just a question of, uh, of creating what we call a Eurovision debate for any old event. It has to be something that has global importance and has a direct impact on the lives of ordinary people. Our objectives are, obviously, because we're also a professional association, is to promote the values of public service uh, journalism and public service uh, broadcasting. But it's also to create a genuine uh, dialogue between peoples, and there's no better way of doing that than, uh, uh, than via the, uh, the, the social networks. But perhaps uh, Mariana would like to say a few words now about what we did uh, online. Mike has explained, because I don't think we're going to... Uh, have a chance to go into detail here if any of you are interested in knowing more about the details about the strategy feel free to contact us and happy to, 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 to tell you about it but it was about what Mike was explaining it was about not showcasing a debate between the candidates to be the president of the commission it was about allowing the audience to say what is it that matters to you what would you like to ask the president of the commission what would you like to tell Europe we used whatever we received from all social networks around our common hashtag, Tell Europe, to uh, design the topics of that debate, to, to create questions, to formulate the questions that the presenters would, uh, would um, ask on, on, on air um, before, during and after the event. Not only about telling the people, please tell us what matters to you, work. So it was all about engaging with them with competitions, with polls, with games, um, creating cross promotional uh, campaigns with the European Parliament, with the parties, with the social networks, with our members working uh, across uh, Europe. The members who are going to broadcast the debate were also taking part in these strategies on social networks. And that allowed us also to create dialogues at an international level, which was very, a, a very interesting part for us you know, to, 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 to be able to say, 
this program is now representing what, what the audience in Europe wants to ask the next president of the Commission. Um, we also tried to invite a couple of companies, uh, social intelligence companies, that would allow us to, to measure. It's not only about listening to what the audience is saying, it's also about gathering data to allow us to see uh, how many women, how many men, what's the sentiment about the different uh, candidates, what's the, the opinion about this, what are the topics that are being mentioned the most, uh, as I said, before, during and then also after the conversation. Um, and as Mike mentioned, this was sort of a, a pilot for us to see um, what would work for a possible next uh, next opportunity to engage with audiences around uh, global uh, issues uh, to allow the in, in this case young people the audiences in general but in this case younger audiences to feel part of, of, of something to, to, to understand that they can do things to change the world we of course um, learned that uh, online is first we need to think online and mobile first, con conceive products, design products, thinking first of online, and also make that content and the participation with the audience available at all times, 7-7 seven, seven process. Um, the content needs to be findable and shareable on internet at any time. They are completely, uh, the audiences nowadays are completely time independent, so they, 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 they want the content whenever they want it and wherever they want it. <laughs> We also know, of course, this part of uh, making them feel part of, uh, of the whole thing uh, is, is, is a key to, 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 to engage with them. Um, it is about uh, creating the thing for them and with them and about them. So it's about creating content around a reality that they can rely on and an, an identity, a whole environment that they can think, okay, this is, how, this is my daily life, this is the concrete point where it touches what I do, where, where it concerns me. So we really need to go to their own world very closely in a very individual um, way of, of, in a very personalized way of, of, of doing it. Um, yeah, and, and uh, it was, uh, uh, we think we achieved, uh, we achieved great things in, 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 in the space of a few weeks. On that, uh, uh, on that night of the, uh, of the 15th of May last year, we had 127,000 mentions of our hashtag during 90 minutes. And to put that in perspective, uh, in, uh, in, in the UK, on the BBC, when they had their debate about uh, uh, Scotland breaking away from, uh, from the Union, uh, they achieved uh, 27,000 fewer tweets in the same amount of time. And this is one of the uh, uh, best connected, uh, uh, most online savvy uh, countries in, uh, in Europe, where um, the issue being debated was of national relevance and importance. So we're very pleased with, uh, with uh, what we achieved. And we, we took this all on board and we waited for our members to come back to us with, uh, with a proposal for a second debate because uh, uh, we, are a, uh, we are an association, that means we act on behalf of our members and uh, uh, our members uh, must officially uh, um, suggest something to us before we can we can take any action. Now, go, going back to the the first debate, the, um, the the most radical thing for us was that uh, although we have all this uh, uh, media know-how, although we have uh, um, satellites and, and fiber optic ca cables stretching uh, uh, right around the world, we don't usually uh, create content ourselves. Even that uh, song contest is produced on our behalf by a host broadcaster. And so we were being asked for the first time in the 60 year history, really, of the, uh, uh, of the uh, EBU to create content on behalf of our members. And in order to do that, we created an editorial board um, with an advisory capacity um, to, to guide us through that process. Also because the content uh, that we were creating was for them. And we've repeated the exercise this time, and the, uh, uh, the uh, slide you can see up on the screen uh, is of the organizations uh, already represented in the editorial board uh, that will advise us on our planned uh, production later in this year to, uh, uh, to coincide with it, to lead us into the, uh, the, the COP21 um, event. But um, 
we don't live in a bubble, we live in the, uh, in, in, in the real world and uh, although we're working with and for our members, we also have external partners as we did last time. Madiana uh, mentioned uh, Vigiglobe and uh, has the productions, the, uh, um, the social media intelligence companies that we worked with. Um, we also work with Facebook and, and Twitter. They were both present with us in the European Parliament uh, on the night to make sure that uh, uh, everything went uh, according to plan and we weren't uh, uh, attacked or uh, by hackers or, uh, um, uh, or other naughty people. <laughs> and um, we're, we're repeating uh, those partnerships this year, but uh, we're also talking to uh, um, uh, the uh, Angry Birds people, Rovio, who are interested in developing uh, uh, a game for us to uh, uh, reach uh, younger audiences. And uh, we're also talking to, uh, um, I'm not sure if you can, if, if you can see him there, that, the, the cover of the Economist uh, magazine, a guy called uh, Jamal Edwards. And this is one of the, the sort of people that I really hate. He's, uh, uh, he's massively talented. He's, he's uh, 22 years old. He's already uh, a multimillionaire. Uh, he has uh, uh, one of the world's most successful YouTube uh, channels. People like uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce uh, appear regularly uh, on, uh, on his programs. And uh, he's also uh, an MBE, a medal of the, of, of the British Empire. So he's officially recognized in the UK for uh, the work he's done to, uh, bring, to breathe new life into, uh, in, 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 into the media environment. So we're also talking to him about uh, how we could uh, collaborate and uh, uh, I'm also in touch with, uh, with Vice and, uh, and The Guardian. Again, these are two other uh, well-known brands who have expressed interest in, in, in working uh, with us. And I sincerely hope that uh, next time I, I, I do this presentation I can add the IAAI and, and, and UNESCO to, uh, to this slide as well because that would be absolutely uh, extraordinary. I'm sure Christina is going to say more about this because I know she knows a lot about this and she believes in it. I do sincerely believe as well that it's about storytelling, the whole thing. We're talking about specific events, but the whole the whole context would be about storytelling. So all the all the partners that Mike has been has been mentioning sort of uh, contribute to creating a different way of the story. Um, the story needs to be all way long, all the year long. Um, different angles, different approaches, it's not the what we're telling but how we tell it, so yes we need to adopt this multimedia approach with all the stories behind it. Um, I'm sure Christina will also uh, give uh, her, her input on, on how the storytelling is important for, for, for whatever we're doing. I'll, I'll let Christina get that word in edgeways in just a second. I mean the last point I want to make is the, another one of the challenges for us of course is that our members, although they're uh, fantastically well-known brands, are, uh, are mainly uh, national broadcasters. They have national audiences. They uh, national audiences who demand local content. So um, they struggle when it comes to telling international stories, which is where we come in and where we can make a difference. Thank you. Perfect.